In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the circle collider. So I've gone ahead and put one of my coins in the scene. And let's add a circle collide to that. So I'm going to come in, come down to Physics 2D. Oh, I missed it. You could also just type it in, but I feel like clicking today. So here we go, the Circle Collider 2D, which to be honest, it might be the last one for us, right? We've done box, capital, capsule, edge, and poly. So yeah, it's the last collider we got to look at. Till a new version of Unity anyway. <laughs> All right, so we've gone ahead, we've grabbed it. It uh, fits really well. If I go ahead and turn off the sprite render, here we go. Nice circle. And I'm not sure how well you can see it on a YouTube video, but it fits really well on this one. So I guess we'll start off with the edit. We can go ahead, click, we get the four points. Let me go ahead, turn that off a bit, or off for you again. So we get the four points, and of course we can go ahead and scale it. We'll turn it back on. Actually, if you take a look here, we see this little green line. That denotes zero degrees. At least that's what I read in the docs. Zero degrees will always point this way. And as far as degrees go on it, it goes counterclockwise. If they've changed that since the last time I read up on it, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on. And I'm going to keep it large just so we can see it. So just like all the other colliders, the next four are present on them as well. The material allows us to add a physical material 2D. So we can go ahead and control how sticky and how bouncy this game object is going to be. Of course, we can go ahead and set it to be a trigger. So not only can we detect collisions, but we can actually, well, detect trigger events. And of course, this collider can be used by effectors. We can go ahead and adjust the offset on the X and the Y. And we have the ability to control the radius. So let's go ahead, we'll put it right back on it. And if we start shrinking this radius down, it's actually much harder. That's actually pretty good, perfect fit there. It's actually much harder, I find, with the, the radius dragging than it is with the actual dots. I find I get more control up here this way. So if you're working with the circle controller and you're having trouble with trying to find that sweet spot, try using the edit collider. And of course, just like the rest, we have some info, great for debugging, but not for trying to set any values. So that's it. That's the last collider, at least as of Unity 5.5. I'm including it for completeness, and well, I guess we'll move on to effectors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>